Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the supervisor cubes in the actual warehouse on the warehouse floor. And we're also going to be going over workstations for associates. So in this warehouse, we are going to put roughly four cubes for supervisors out on the floor. They're going to be stationed there. And we're also going to put a couple workstations out there as well. So we're assuming that things like repackaging need to be done or other things like uh, research on a product need to be done in case it's put away wrong. We want to make sure we have workstations for that area. I also want to apologize. I haven't really uploaded anything in a little bit. Life's been a little bit uh, busy lately, but I plan on continuously uploading more and more content. Thank you for your patience. But with that being said, let's get into the video. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me realize or understand what videos are doing well, what content you want to see. Consider liking the video if you found it helpful or interesting. If you want to see something else done on AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link down below as well. All right, so we're going to jump right into this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to come up to the office area that we already created. And we're going to grab these supervisor cubes out of it. We're then going to copy them. And we are going to move them over into this general area. So I'm going to escape. Now, the reason why we're putting the supervisor cubes up here is because this is going to be the area that we can control for with the least amount of MHE or forklift traffic. So you have the forklift traffic going from here down to here and then all in this area. We want to keep the supervisor cubes out of that area so we can avoid pedestrians with forklift traffic. So we're going to just put them just kind of central into this upper left hand corner. I kind of have it good already, so I don't really need to move it too much. But we'll just put it right here. Um, and that's where the supervisors are going to sit. Now, we only want four cubes because this is a smaller operation. We don't really need any more um, space out there. Even if it's a second and first shift type of deal, that should be plenty for the regular supervisors um, and or managers. We're not going to put any offices outside of the main office just because um, it's unneeded and unnecessary. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in these stations that are used for rework, reprocess, or repackaging. So we're going to add in roughly six stations. And the reason you're going to want these stations in there is because sometimes in warehousing, inventory levels can be off. A um, package needs to be reboxed because it was damaged. You know, something doesn't scan properly. Something was put away in the wrong spot, but it says it was put away somewhere else in the system. So you're going to want to, you're going to want to be able to do research on these uh, items that you have in your warehouse, and you're going to want stations for those. You can also do them in the rack. Um, you don't need stations, but having stations for things like repackaging and just reprocessing is very nice. So we're going to add in stations, and I've already got one pre-built here, and it's more or less just a tabletop. Um, when you know what your station's going to look like, um, when you order them, you'll be able to do more of an in-depth kind of station design. But right now, we're just doing a tabletop, and it's going to be three feet by six foot six inches. And this is a little bit of a bigger table, but that's okay because of the repackaging stuff, you're going to want the table to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it. We're going to copy this. All right. And we're going to move it close to the supervisor cubes. That way they can uh, monitor these people doing this work. And if they have any questions, then it also helps them be able to answer them because they're right there. We're going to take a line. We're going to draw roughly four feet. And we are going to copy this selection and make, what do we do? We'll put roughly six in. And you can do any, anywhere, you know, the spacing isn't really that important. Um, I would recommend at least three feet between stations. But other than that, um, you really don't need that much of a bigger spacing. So now you have all your workstations and you can add pallet locations. You can 5S this area as well. But this is where we're going to place them because it's close to the supervisor cube and it is close to the forklift, or it's fur further away from the forklift area. In the next couple of parts, um, I was planning on doing a guardrail one, so you'll see that we'll add guardrail to protect this area from MHE traffic coming in. But yeah, right now it just looks a little bit open. Don't worry, we're going to put some guardrail in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually, just because we have the time, I'm just going to add this computer. Um, most of the time, these will not have seats, so we will not put a seat in these stations, but we are gonna add a computer to it. And, um, you know, it doesn't really matter where the computer's at, but we're just going to copy 
now this and paste it on top of these. And there you go. Now you have a computer at your pack station or your rework station or your reprocessing station, whatever you're going to use them for. But you have these stations that allow associates to, you know, essentially research and repackage product if it's damaged or not in the right inventory. There's, again, multiple reasons why you need these stations, but they're put in just so you have the option. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Um, kind of a short video. I know it was a short video. They've been short recently, but that's okay because we're going to get in some longer videos when we focus on guardrail and guardrail placement and a couple other things that still need to be done with the facility design. We still probably have about five to ten parts left before we wrap up this series, so there's a bit more to do. It's all little things that are very important, but again, seem minor when just talking about them out loud. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. Leave it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.